Hey guys, Craig Mack here, Mad Props. So, today I drove past a construction site in my old neighborhood and came across some excavation being done. I got a video of that, I'll attach it to my social media, but for now, we'll just address the dirt that I already have. So basically, a gentleman named Dave took his backhoe and filled me up 30 of these 5 gallon buckets that I had, that I used for demolition uh, for my day job and also uh, that I had donated from my other new friend uh, Ben at the Mural Arts Program in Philly. So what I did is, I was talking to you before, I got all these 55 gallon drums here. This is one that I cut in half just to test and uh, to do my prototype for uh, the hanging gardens. Like I was saying, each one of these uh, will be filled with dirt and planted. And then I have these fence frames that I was going to use to uh, to hang them from. Um, and although after dealing with the weight of these buckets, I'm reconsidering my initial design and might have to go back to the drawing board a little bit with it. But nonetheless, today we're talking about dirt and how much I need to fill these. Now these are 55 gallon drums. You cut them in half. It's roughly uh, 27 and a half gallons uh, or rather 29 and a half gallons no whatever it is <laughs> 27 and a half uh, I approximated that I needed about six of these five gallon buckets per in order to get enough dirt in here so let's check it out and see if I got anywhere close to being right with the number of buckets I need. This dirt's nice and heavy, freshly excavated. And for those of you that don't know, we had some snow and some rain and some general wet weather, so we had some nice wet dirt. Fortunately, Dave was able to load it for me with my with his ex excavator and save me the trouble of shoveling all this dirt. There goes two, and I'm looking pretty good so far. I also plan on using probably at least one bucket of horse manure as fertilizer. For those of you that don't know, horse manure is great for gardens. Uh, not too much of it, obviously, because it can put a lot of nitrogen in the soil, from what I understand. Uh, but it's a great fertilizer for gardens, and most times, if you find someone that has a horse, they're more than willing to give you the shit. Literally. In my neighborhood and with some of my family and friends, we actually make a day of it. It's called Horseshit Saturday. And it was last weekend. And unfortunately, I didn't get any video of the day. But I do have some pictures I'll share. So we're three buckets deep. So far, it looks pretty good. Now, my issue was, I was talking about, was with weight. Having this dirt being nice and wet is a pain in the butt for moving it. But it gives me a perfect example of what this thing's going to weigh when everything's said and done. And it's been rained on and all this dirt is full. Now I'm going to put some drain holes in it so it doesn't hold a ton of water. Although I do want to have the ability to keep moisture in these, in these uh, containers. I also use an additive to the soil that helps retain water. It's, uh, I forget what it is. It's sodium something. Uh, it's a crystal. You've, I'm sure you've seen it. Have you ever seen any of those flower vases? It looks like it has the jelly in it. It's basically that stuff. It comes in a granular powder. You mix it in with your soil. It grabs and holds water and releases it into the soil as needed rocks and some frozen dirt. One nice thing about this uh, excavated dirt is that it's from the earth. It has uh, you know life to it. There's earthworms in it which are great for for having in your garden as you might well know. Um, I saw quite a few as I was shoveling some buckets. So right now that looks to be 
pretty good. Let's take a look. That's about four buckets full, and it's almost it's almost full. I think I'm going to go one more, and then I'll leave the last one out because that'll be my fertilizer bucket. Just to see what we're dealing with here. Now I was approximating each of these buckets being around 80 pounds, if I had a guess. Uh, with this soaking wet soil, as you can see, it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty wet after the snow. And look, there's one of those big old beauty earthworms I was talking about. And I'm sure the dog would be happy to eat. Well, that's nice. So right now I got five buckets, approximately 80 pounds a piece. That's 400 pounds per planter. My initial plan with hanging these was to use rope. Uh, and I think I'm going to have to double up my initial estimate for what I was going to use to hang these buckets. So that looks much better. And like I said, once I add the last bucket of horse manure, which is in my container right now, that should top that off pretty nice and I can always come back later and add and I'm sure this will sink down a bit so generally whenever, whenever you're filling any kind of planter you kind of overfill it because you're going to lose some of that uh, space that you've generated because there's air pockets and uh, if the soil's dry there'll be just air in it and you'll see it start to sink down as for instance this planter was filled to the brim at the beginning last year when I first planted it and you can see it dropped about six inches over the course of the season. So, there's my planter and full of dirt and my estimations were pretty close. So, looks like I'm going to need that full six barrel when everything is said and done to get it nice and full and to account for any loss of air. And I'll still add my bucket of horse manure as well. Um, and then if you think about it, calculating the math, they're about 80 pounds a piece. I can move three at a time. That's 240 pounds. And then I got three, uh, 30 buckets. So that's what, 25, about 2,400 pounds. So I got a lot of moving to do today. And I'll have to do it at least once more, probably twice more, to get the amount of dirt that I need. If you have the ability to get dirt delivered for free, there are plenty of people willing to get rid of it and willing to deliver it. As uh, my friend Dave was able to, wasn't able to deliver it to me, but under normal circumstances he could. But as I was thinking about that, and here's one of the trains, I was still going to have to do all that shovel work if he delivered it to me, so... He saved me a ton of work being able to load those buckets and then I only had to move them twice by hand. Once into the truck and then once out of the truck and the rest of it I can move them on wheels. So there's that. Uh, next video is be coming out soon. There's an ego checking out the dirt. Do you find anything good in there? Anything good? No? No sir. <laughs> Nose is full of dirt. Uh, keep an eye out for the rest of the videos uh, coming soon. I'm going to start setting up my planters. Got a lot of work to do before spring gets here. And uh, a beautiful 60 to almost 60 degree day here in Philly. After four or five uh, sub-freezing temperatures is really making me itch for spring. And I'm sure everybody else too. Thanks for watching guys. I know the videos go a little bit long. But I like to talk a lot. So deal with it. Have a good one.